Hey all, welcome back to another hands-on exercise. We are in this one going to be creating an agent script and just showing you a few things on how and where you can publish that or not publish, but add those data or add those agent scripts to either the call flow or to the queue. So let's go ahead and get started. Where I'm at is in the admin section, I then look under, uh, I look at scripts, which is affiliated with the queues, email, et cetera. We're gonna go ahead and create a script they list some some default ones for you, uh, you know, default outbound, inbound, and callback script. Those are all they have some you know pot things that are populated. Usually the Annie is populated, um, maybe the queue name is populated, the interaction ID is populated, that kind of thing. We're gonna go ahead and do a blank one that way you guys just have an understanding of it. I'm gonna do test inbound agent script just to name it something differently. I'm gonna go ahead and I already selected blank. You can kind of see if you select it again, that grays out. Go ahead and select blank. And this is essentially gonna give you a blank um, a blank canvas to work on. So there's a lot of different things and very in-depth things um, that you can do with agent scripts. We're just gonna to touch on the very basics of it because obviously this is the architect course. The architect course doesn't really cover this piece of it. It kind of makes sense um, based off some questions. It makes sense to have it here just for basic understanding. But keep in mind that is really an administrator function. Um, but we'll go ahead and get into it um, from this perspective. So we're going to just make a basic one. I am going to do some horizontal stack uh, containers. And really all that's going to do is just allows me to put some text in there. So I'm going to take a couple text boxes, push it in there. And let's go ahead and delete that one. I don't want that one on the text box here. Make sure, and you can kind of see I just messed up there. Make sure that you put the text box in In the container because that's where it uh, gets there so we're gonna go ahead and do uh, so interaction let's do conversation ID colon I'm gonna put another text box there and then that's where it's going to uh, that's where it's gonna display so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put another horizontal there and let's do another text box here is gonna be let's do Q uh, and then let's do another text box or a horizontal stack container, do another text box. This one is going to be, hmm, what do I wanna add to it? Um, let's just do skill. This will just display the skill that's being associated to it. And obviously these are just examples. You guys are more than free to do whichever you want. Uh, and let's say welcome message. We're gonna we're gonna have the our agent have a welcome message that way they uh, that'll be the same thing they say every single time. Um, you can make that dynamic. Um, you can do quite a few things, especially around data tables and whatnot. Uh, not gonna get into that. That's a little deeper than what we should be getting into. Um, for conversation ID, so um, out of the box, Genesis Cloud has some default variables that you can use, and you can select that when you go ahead and select that text box. There'll be a, a little square up here you can click on. And it's called the scripter dot whatever, uh, scripter dot agent Q, whatever. We're looking for interaction ID, and there's the interaction ID. So we can go ahead and add scripter dot interaction ID. That is going to just make that's going to make it to where that displays the conversation ID um, to the agent that's uh, picking up that call. Q, we can do the same exact thing. There is a there's a Q ID or a Q name. Typically, you're going to want Q name. Um, agents don't know the Q IDs typically. So that's Q name, easy enough. Uh, welcome message is whatever. You could type that in here. So, you know, thank you for calling Dunamis Consulting. My name is, and you can make this dynamic. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and there's email I, agent ID locale there's agent name so now we just made my name is and it's going to be Jonathan Nolan obviously and that goes to the front so just keep in mind you have to put end how can I be of assistance and so now what will happen is they'll be able to say this the the name their agent name will actually pop up um Obviously, they, they should know their own name, but it pops up for whatever agent it is, it's going to pop up in, in their name. Um, the skill, now this one, I'll go ahead and give an example of how we do this. 
Um, this is going to be something that we're doing based off of um, the data table that we've created. And so we're going to go ahead and click in here. And I'm going to actually then, where are we going at? Go ahead and click a custom action here. Let's, we can name this whatever. I'm going to go ahead and name and skill name. I'm going to add a step here. And do, where are we at here, scripter? It's going to be set variable. We're going to set, we're going to create our own variable. And this is going to be a dynamic type. It's going to be a string. And let's just name it skill name again. And actually, let's, uh, we got to do a different one. Let me create new skill. There we go. It's going to be a basic. But let's go ahead and put skills in there. We want there to be an input. So we want wherever we're coming from to be an input. That's going to be, um, and I'll show you on the, uh, on the call flow and how that works. So we're going to go ahead and put input there. There is no default value. We're going to go hit apply. And then we're going to look for that input. There's the variable that we've done. Go ahead and set it. And now we're going to save. And now this will actually show up at the very bottom as skills. So now whatever skill is coming from the data table is how, is what we're going to be we showing. So that is pretty much it for that. That's uh, a lot of these are built in, obviously. The skills one is pretty easy. You're going to go to What's that called? Actions. There's a custom skill that's or a custom. That's where you're going to go ahead and create the new one like this. You'll give it its own unique name. <clears throat> there are several things you can kind of see in here uh, that we're going to do as a, as a if else. There's a lot of things in here. We did not need any of that because we were doing a custom set variable here. And that's how we were able to make it work. So um, we'll go ahead and add that. That's let me go ahead and go back now cancel and so now you can see those are back so and that adds the skill once you go click on here and then click that button um it's that easy uh so what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and have to do two things one you have to initially save it you can kind of see that the publish button is grayed out that happens until you save so we'll hit save it's been successfully saved now you can hit publish it's been successfully published let's go back to scripts now the test inbound agent script is there so let's go ahead and go back to our inbound flow in the transfer to queue, let's say we want to uh, set a screen pop. And let's go ahead and uh, set screen pop. Where are you at here? Always look at, there's screen pop there, but I wanna show you guys where this is at. Uh, and I believe it's in, where are you? I always have problems fighting this one. Right there, in flow. Set screen pop. And now all you have to do is really, obviously, if it gets to be so many, there's you'll have to search for it. But because there's only two, uh, and the one that we have there isn't there. So let's go ahead and hit save. Usually you can search for it. Test. Let's go back to here. Make sure that we have indeed. Save. Publish. Sometimes it, always, it needs to be refreshed. So let's go ahead and X out of this real quick, delete it. We're gonna go ahead and publish and republish or publish and edit again. Sometimes it's finicky when you go and do that. So don't worry, it is it is there, it's been published. Just hit publish uh, your call flow and re-edit. Usually a save will do it. Um, but there's the screen pop again. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it again. Still can't find it. So let's uh, let's do something else. This is a good little troubleshooting ses session for us. So it is good to go. Uh, one thing you do have to check for, uh, and this is probably why it's not showing up. In script properties, usually uh, when you do the default outbound default inbound defaults callback script it will automatically highlight it if you do a blank you do have to go to where you want this enabled 
click the enable button, then save, then publish. So you can kind of see right there, that's a, just a simple thing that's always forgotten. Um, so that's in script properties. Now we should be able to go ahead and find this, if I can spell test right. There's the test inbound agent script. You One thing you will notice here is there's an input. Remember we checked that one, that one toggle for, for skills. Uh, we are setting the skill here as a flow.skill. And we set that, let's say uh, we go to the main menu, they want to go to my queue. You can see where I set that here, flow.skill. So this is really just an update data. Uh, we do have another module that, that goes through update data, but really I did an update data of a skill, ACD skill here. I put in flow.skill, just like that. I, I named that one, and then I picked the skill that I wanted to use. Let me go ahead and X out of that. So that's as, it's as easy as that. What it's going to do is it's going to then allow me to take that flow.skill to the screen pop, make sure you are on expression, and put flow.skill here. And then that will then translate into um, the screen pop that happens here. That's one of the ways. Um, that's a lot of the way that I've done it um, as far as setting setting that. And, and the big reason is this skill, for example, like I'm pulling that skill from the actual call flow. It's a bit hard to do that when you assign it to the next thing we're gonna look at. So let's go ahead and look at the opposite sway. You'll go ahead and hit admin again. This time we're gonna go to queues, which is under contact center. I'm just gonna go to that Nolan test queue that we have that I created. Obviously, you guys may not have that. You're going to hit in, I believe it's in, is it in routing? Nope, it's not. Uh, voice, there we go, voice. Um, so there's a few things you can change in here. And, and we kind of went through that in a different one, but default script is one of them. Um, this is where you can then check and see what, what script you want. And so test inbound agent script is something you can pick. You would just then hit, I'm going to hit save and continue kind of, so you can kind of see it. But then that default script shows up. Now, keep in mind, if you do it this way um, and, and you do not have it listed here, that flow.skill isn't getting set, so it's going to be blank. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that's why if you're wanting to use a data table to set anything on a screen pop, you'll want to put it in here. If it doesn't matter, if you're just going to use one of the default templates that they have, then you can put it in this queue uh, and then change it as necessary. You won't have to to edit and republish. I hope that helps in far as uh, creating a, just a basic agent script. Obviously more in-depth agent script is coming with the administrator course, which is in progress of getting recorded now. Um, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up uh, and thanks for uh, attending this hands-on. Bye all.